clinical support. Today I am going to present the topic, a clinical study on the effect of Shira Vaita Nasti, the management of Bidrasi Vata, with a special reference to Sayadiha. So, Bidrasi is the one of the most common reasons for all physician visits. Treatment which relieves the pain, improves the functional ability with the cost effectiveness is the need of the time. In present study, Kshira Vaitarnavasti is used to evaluate the effect in Kritrasi. Two cycles of Vasti has been given and the results were assessed based on both subjective and objective parameters. This Kshira Vaitarnavasti is the reference from Vangasena Samhita, Vasti Karma Adhikara. So here the purpose of the study is to evaluate the effect of Kshira Vaitarnavasti in Kritrasi and to study the influence of modern lifestyle in Kritrasi and third one to study the ideal pathogenesis of Kritrasi in the light of both Ayurvedic and modern perspective. Now coming to the methods of the study, here it is an open clinical trial with a sample size of 30 and duration of 23 days. For this 23 days comes means two cycles of Shiravata Namasti in the form of Yoga Vasti with a gap of 7 days per time. That means two cycles of Yoga Vasti with 8 days, total 16 days with a gap of 7 days, total 23 days. So here the ingredients of the Vasti, Saindava that is rock salt, Guda, Jagari, Amlinga that is tamarind, Tilatela Samoy and Gokshi rough cow's milk that are the main ingredients. And Muchra Tilatela is used for Anuvasana. So here Saindava that is rock salt, one kasha is the dose that is 12 gram and Guda is Ardhavala 24 gram and Amlinga 60 and Tilatela 60 ml and Gokshi is 200 ml, one Gudava that is the ingredients. So the Total quantity of Vasti will be 350 ml and 100 ml of Mochita Thaila, Thila Thaila is used for Anivasana in the form of Yoga Vasti. Now coming to the inclusion criteria here. Business is diagnosed according to the classical signs and symptoms and uh, lumbar spondylosis and IVDP that is intervertebral disc collapse that is uh, leading to sciatica and a positive SLR test. Patients fit for Vasti that is patients who are indicated for Vasti aged between 20 to 70 years, both sexes of male and female. Coming to the exclusion criteria, proven cases of malignancy, congenital abnormalities of lumbar spine, history of trauma causing fractures and dislocations. that are the criteria, inclusion and exclusion criteria. Now we have the evaluation methods. Both subjective and objective assessments were done before and after treatment. So your subjective parameters are the classical signs and symptoms of Gridrasi that is Ruja, Toda, Stamba, Grihanatha, Spandana, Tandra, Gaurava, Arvachaka, Suttada and Patataha. Now coming to the objective parameters. First one is SLR test, straight leg raise and NPRS that is numerical pain rating scale. Numerical pain rating scale is a scale which adopts to take the pain, means which uh, numbering from 0 to 10. 0 is the minimum pain that means no pain and 10 is the worst imaginable pain. Coming to the ODI, that is Oslo History Disability Index for Functional Assessment, we have uh, 10 questions. In each questionnaire, 0 to 4 gradings will be there based on that before treatment and after treatment we can assess. Coming to the overall results of the study we have done here, marked improvement, moderate improvement, mild improvement, no improvement. Like that we have classified the result of overall results. 27% marked improvement. 60% moderate improvement, mild improvement 13% and there is 0% no improvement like that. Coming to the statistical analysis on subjective parameters, all these subjective parameters are shown Ruja, Toda, Stamba, Suttada and Paradaha. All are highly significant value we have got and the remaining Spandana, Grihanatha, Tandra, Gaurava, Arajada. Here the first seven are uh, the signs and symptoms of pathogenic literacy and the third last year, three one Tandra Gaurava Rajala that are the symptoms of pathogenic literacy. So all the pathogenic symptoms showing highly significant results and pathogenic uh, literacy results are showing significant results. Here coming to the statistical analysis on objective parameters. We have three objective parameters that are SLR, NPRS and uh, ODI. And here it is significant, is highly significant and the percentage of relief is also shown 61% relief in SLA and 48% in NPRS, 16% in Oswestry Disability Index. 
Coming to the conclusion, we have Vasti is said to be Adha Chikitsa and it is the best treatment of choice in Vata Vyadis. Vaitarna Vasti is an effective treatment in the management of brutality of both the types that is Vata Cha and Vata Kapaja and it shows long lasting results. Complications are seldom occurring during and after the course of Vasti Karma. It is easy to constitute, less time consuming and gives less discomfort to both patient and physician and it is cheap compared to the other conventional methods of management of Kudrasi or Sayadika. That's all. Thank you. Kudrasi is the prime reporting complaint and it's generally due to the attitudes of the boss that work. Okay? The, the, the cause of Kudrasi is normally the person in charge of the workplace. If they make people feel awful and they make them sit in a slouch, the lower back sucks. Now you can't hear Gridrasi as a And that's because of pain. It's not really a neurological disease as a neurological disease, is it? Do you understand what I'm saying? Actually, good to see is a symptom only. Yes. The vata is a symptom. The underlying problem is up here. Do you think is it purely a symptom or I mean, his point is that it originates in the brain if you are stressed, you will slouch due to postural and other issues, also you will get anxiety. And of course, it may be one of the reasons for that since the is a neurological sense, is a neurological symptom only it is, and it may be the one of the cause, underlying causes may be there. So, so the use of vasti is purely to relieve the pain? Since it is a Vata Vyadi, Vasti is the best chikitsa and Vasti is considered to be Ardha Chikitsa in Vata Vyadi. Since Gridrasi is a Vata Vyadi, it is considered that. But how long does this treatment last? When the person goes back to work and they're made to feel awful again, that Actually, comes the Gridrasi. That is, uh, study is for only for uh, just two cycles of 23 days in between 7 days and the follow up period is of uh, 45 days. So, uh, the long lasting results means at least in this period, patients are not complaining of recurrence. Okay, so we relieved it for 45 days. Now, what was your average increase, increase on the Oswestry disability scale? Pardon? Oswestry. The Oswestry disability scale is the number of functions, if I remember rightly, that a person can perform at home. And it can be as much as 25 functions, and it comes all, you know, and some people with severe sciatica, Gridrasi, can't perform any. At, at the Institute for Ayurveda and Integrative Medicine, we saw restoration of up to 20 functions in the course of two months general treatment, which might have included, um, it might have included um, Basti, not necessarily. Okay? Different kinds of treatment. How much uh, increase did you see in the number of functions? that were at no longer disabilities. Actually, in Oswestry Disability Index, there is a 10 functions. In that, uh, 0 to 4 is the grading stage. So, before treatment, if the patient is having 5 grade, after treatment, after treatment, if the patient is going to grade 2, or uh, in, in example, if the sitting, sitting is one of the questions, 0 to 5 grading is there in sitting. Uh, sitting uh, with support, or uh, 5 uh, 10 minutes, or up to 20 minutes, continuous sitting or without taking medicines like that uh, questionnaire is there. So if the patient is uh, from the grade 5, if the patient is grading grade 2, that can be considered grade 2 or grade 1 like that all questions. Okay, good. So you were seeing significant improvements in those yes. disabilities? Yes. And they sustained over your follow-up? Yes. I don't have any question but I just have a comment. In uh, one of your slides, you showed that purpose of the study was to also see what are the impact, what is impact of modern lifestyle on Gujarati and wanted to study the idiopathogenesis. But you didn't comment anything about uh, those two things. So it is better if you 
were not commenting anything on those two points. You shouldn't have included those points in the 